Let's do a quick recap of everything going on. So I got the medicine cabinet in, in the half bath that's mounted in the wall. It could have been in the wall or a surface mount, but this saves some space. Right? We already saw this room, my office for now. Haven't done much in the closet. That needs some sheetrock. Still need to rework the electrical. Kind of lower on the list. I'll pick at it as I get time. Um, the master bedroom, I think, is going to be the next big room to finish. The closet is almost totally demoed. Walls are washed. Uh, so just needs to get picked up and then I can uh, go around and spackle uh, any holes in the wall. And what's next? The kitchen, oh, done a little bit of work in the kitchen. Um, put a fresh coat of polyurethane on this side of the cabinets. So that was yesterday, one of the things I did yesterday. I'll do that with the rest of them. Get those all, you know, fresh coat of sealer on there, really just to make, make them look nicer, but also hold in any odor that might be there. Um, go downstairs. There's been a fair amount of woodwork that I've been pulling off. So the, the molding for the closets, also all the woodwork in that blue room. So it's too beat up to use again, uh, but I'm not totally going to let it go to waste. I've been pulling the nails out of it and I'm gonna use that for kindling, probably both here and at my cabin. There were some old drywall anchors that had been already plastered over painted over, although we still could still see them clearly. Uh, they were metal, so I had to cut around them, rip them out of the wall. I'm not thrilled to find the metal ones. Um, these days I would say most people use plastic, and with the plastic ones you can just drill right through them and then you spackle over. But this, uh, you know, is a bit more of an effort to, to get rid of them and fix the hole. I'm fixing up the cabinet doors, so they've all been washed. Now this first one on the left, you can see just grime build up um, around where the hardware was. So I'm going around using steel wool to clean that off. So this one, I've already done that. You can see where I've used the steel wool. And then this third one is all done. So this uh, cleaned steel wool, and then I put a coat of polyurethane on it. So this one is ready to go back up, um, but I'll probably do them all first. Oh yeah, I guess it's not totally ready to go back up, the wood is, but I'm, um, I'm gonna paint the hardware, paint the hardware black. Getting very close to being able to uh, prime in the master bedroom here. Got most of the spackling done. Had to fix a few more, several more, and drywall nails. Um, there were a lot of those in this room. So, while I'm taking a break from sanding in there, I think I'll replace a couple more of the radiators. I'm trying to get a couple of the radiators done each weekend um, so that they're, they're done by the time we move in here. So, the two bathroom ones are connected. Uh, Right, so half bath here, through that wall is the other bath. Gonna cut those out, uh, get them replaced. Actually, I'm gonna cut out the radiators and then I'm going to prime um, behind this one. So, uh, so far the radiators I've done, of course, were in a room that was already painted, finished, but I need to get these radiators replaced before the heat goes on whether the walls are painted or not. So I'm gonna at least prime behind them. I'm cutting off a number of the, uh, the radiator fins just with a utility knife. So that's gonna give me, I, I want a length of pipe to be able to work with 
um, when I'm desoldering the connection here. I want to have um, some pipe there for leverage uh, to, to be able to grab onto a pliers or something and, and get that out of there. So cutting off a bunch of fins, they're just aluminum. They cut off fairly easily. Super sharp though, so protect your hands. here to protect the wall. Um, boot tray is here to catch any water that may still be in the pipe. And this stuff is all to protect me. Okay, those two radiators totally cut out. That has primer, you get the idea. Let's skip to the end. Yada, 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 solder, solder, new radiator. So I'll get some uh, end caps, uh, extensions to, to cover up those gaps there. I'll be all set. So that'll do it for that radiator for now. Uh, I'm not sure if I got enough footage to close off this video, maybe, but uh, next up I'm going back to paint the master bedroom, or rather to prime the master bedroom. Back in the master bedroom. I've got it fully trimmed uh, with two coats of primer everywhere, ceiling, walls, uh, everything's taped. See, I took a little extra precaution uh, with the windows, just because this, um, this primer is very liquidy. Um, worried about it splattering, so that, that I just don't have to worry as much. Um, so yeah, got a lot I want to get done because uh, I think I have 16 days before we need to be out of the apartment and into here. So of course, at the very least, want to get the master bedroom done. Um, as I showed earlier, my office is already done. I've been working in there. So by the time I post this, uh, probably already be living in here. I wish uh, I could keep up with editing and posting in real time, but slim chance of that happening. Um, slim chance, fat chance. Isn't it weird that those terms mean the same thing? Stuff you gotta think about. Uh, so, um, get this primed in the field, walls, ceiling, two coats. This uh, alcohol-based primer dries real quick, so I'll have no problem getting that done today, the two coats done today, and then, Hopefully tomorrow, paint. Well, it's tomorrow because I went through both gallons of primer that I had and uh, needed to get more from Home Depot. So uh, it took about two and a half gallons to do two coats on everything, walls and ceiling. But that's done. So now uh, do the, the actual ceiling paint, the final coat, do that. And on to the walls. Done painting in this room, walls and ceiling. So the walls are the same color as I did my office. Kept it simple. Uh, next up in this room, let's see, remaining, I've got to replace the electrical. No, you'd rush on that. We can move in before I do that, but I need to replace the radiators. So radiator there, dummy radiator next to it, another dummy radiator next to it radiator. So four different units. Should be fun. Someone's been filling the cabinets with stuff. Uh, so I figure I should finish them. I've got the cabinet hardware in various stages of being redone. So we've got a bunch of it soaking in a vinegar solution. Gross. Um, well, let's go to the basement and 
see some other stuff. Here is our almost finished door. So got the painted hardware on there. Just needs to be screwed on, but I just got these out to show the before and after. Right. Some of them start off looking like this, others start off looking way worse. So that's why they're all getting painted.